Hello everyone. In the beginning, let's let's review some problem we did last class. So, please pause the video, review this problem first. After you finish all this problem, continue the video, and I will show you the solution in detail. Okay, let's solve this problem together. Number one. Passive two plus passive a. When we adding signed numbers, we try to follow addition rule. Addition rule says, when adding two numbers with the same sign, keep the sign and add the magnitudes. When adding two numbers with different signs, keep the sign. From the number that has larger magnitude, then subtract the magnitude. So let's follow addition rule for this problem. We are adding two numbers that have the, that has the same sign. So we keep the sign. Add the magnitude. Two plus a is ten. If the answer is passive ten, we don't write passive sign. Just write ten. Next, negative three plus negative two. When adding two numbers with the same sign, keep the sign, add the magnitude. So we keep negative sign. Three plus two is fifteen. When the number is negative, we must keep negative sign. Next, negative a plus positive fourteen. Follow addition rule. When adding two numbers with different signs, keep the sign from the number that has larger magnitude. Here, fourteen has larger magnitude. We keep positive sign. Then subtract the magnitude. Fourteen minus a is six. If the answer is passive, we don't write passive sign. Write six. Number four. Negative twenty-two plus passive five. When adding two number with different sign. Keep the sign from the number that has larger magnitude. Twenty-two, negative twenty-two has larger magnitude, so we keep negative sign. Subtract the magnitudes. Twenty-two minus five is seventeen. Next, number five. Negative. Thirteen minus negative twenty-one. Negative thirteen minus negative twenty-one. When doing subtraction, we need to we need to change subtraction to addition first, then follow addition rule. We need to change subtraction to addition first, then follow addition rule. So. We first of all keep the first number the same. Change subtraction to addition, and change the sign of the second number. Keep the first number the same. Change subtraction to addition, change the sign of the second number. Then follow addition rule. When adding two numbers with different sign, keep the sign from the number that has larger magnitude. Twenty-one has larger magnitude, so I keep positive positive sign and subtract the magnitudes. Twenty-one minus thirteen is a. When the answer is positive, we don't write positive sign. Answer is a. Next. Negative nine minus positive twenty-three. 
negative 9 minus positive 23. So when we're doing subtraction, convert subtraction to addition first, then follow addition rule. Keep negative 9 the same. Change subtraction to addition. Then change the sign of the second number. Positive 23 become negative 23. Then follow addition rule. When we're adding, when we're adding two numbers, they have the same sign. Keep the sign, add the magnitude. When we're adding two numbers, they have the same sign. Keep the sign, add the magnitude. 9 plus 23 is 32. Keep negative sign. And so it's negative 32. Next. Negative 6 times negative 8. A dot in the middle means multiplication. That's a shortcut for multiplication. Dot in the middle represents multiplication. M multiplication sign looks like x. That's very confused. So instead of, instead of multiplication sign, we write dot here. Negative 6 times negative 8. When we multiply two numbers, they have the same sign, and so it's positive. Then multiply numbers, 6 times a is 48. When the answer is positive, we don't write positive sign. And so it's positive 48. When we multiply or divide numbers, they have the, they have the same sign. We, the answer is always positive. When we multiply or divide two numbers have different with different signs, and so it's always negative. Next, positive four times negative twelve. When we multiply two numbers with different sign, and so it's always negative. Four times twelve is forty-eight. Next, negative 10 divided by positive 2. When we multiply or divide two numbers with different sign, and so it's always negative. Negative 10 divided by positive 2. They have different sign, and so it's negative. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Next. Negative 26 divided by negative 13. When we multiply or divide two numbers with the same sign, the result is always positive. 26 divided by 13 is 2. Positive 2 is the same as 2. Next, six x plus three y plus two x. Let's call algebraic expression. We try to combine like terms. We try to combine like terms. Like term is not terms. Like terms are the terms that have the same variable raised to the same power. Light term are the terms that have the same variable. The variable here is for these two terms. The variable is x. For these two terms, the variable is x. If we combine light terms, follow addition rule. When we combine light terms, follow addition rule. Passive 6 plus passive 2 is positive a and like term is x stays the same 6x plus 2x is ax y 3y is not a light term the letter the variable is not the same so 3y is not a light term we leave it in the same combine light term 6x plus 2x is ax 
three y stays the same. Y is not three y is not a light is not a light term of these two terms. Next. Three x minus four y minus ten x minus five y. So combine light terms. Three x and negative ten x they are light terms. Three x and negative ten x they are light terms. They both contain x. They are light terms. So follow addition rule. Follow addition rule. Positive three plus negative 10 positive 3 plus negative 10 when adding two number with opposite sign with different sign keep the sign from the number with larger magnitude here 10 is larger magnitude so I keep negative negative sign then subtract the numbers subtract the magnitude 10 minus 3 is 7 so when I combine 3x and negative 10x I get negative 7x Another light terms of negative four y and negative five y. Negative four y and negative five y. Follow addition rule. When we combine light term, when we combine light terms, we follow addition rule. Negative four y plus negative five y is negative nine y. When adding two numbers with the same sign, keep the sign and the magnitude. 4 plus 5 is 9. And light term y stays the same. Variable y stays the same. Then there's no more light term. You can't combine any further. x and y. 7x, 9y, they are not light terms. You can't combine them. That's the final answer. Next. Number 13. 2a squared plus y a plus 7a square 2a square plus 5a plus 7a square light terms let's first of all find the light terms then we, try, then we combine light terms light terms are the terms with the same variable raised to the same power light terms are the terms with the same variables raised to the same power so here, 2a squared and 7a squared, they are light terms. When combining light term, follow addition rule. Positive 2 plus positive 7 is positive 9. Light term stays the same. Positive 2 plus positive 7 is 9. It's, nine. it's positive 9. And variable a squared stays the same. And next, 5a. It's not a light term of 2a squared and 7a squared. We leave it the same. Then there's no more light term to, to be combined. That's the final answer. 9a squared and 5a, they are not light terms. They have, they have the same variable, but they don't have the same, they don't have the same variable. They don't have the same exponent. They don't have the same exponent. a squared has power 2. a by itself, power is 1. So they are not light terms. That's the final answer. Next. Negative 5a squared b minus 6ab squared minus 4a squared b plus 7ab squared. First of all, let's find the like terms first. Light term are the terms with the same variables raised to the same powers. Look at these two terms. Negative 5a squared b and negative 4a squared b. They have exactly the same variable raised to the same power. Combine light terms. Follow addition rule. Negative 5 plus negative 4. They have the same sign. Keep the sign add the magnitude. I have negative 9. Leave the light term the same. a squared b stays the same. Another pair of light, light terms are negative 6ab squared and 7ab squared. 
They both contain A, B, and with B raised to power 2, they are like terms. Same variable raised to the same power. So when, when we combine like terms, form addition rule. Negative 6 plus positive 7. Negative 6 plus positive 7. When we're adding two numbers with different sign, keep the sign from the number that has larger magnitude. Negative 6, positive 7. 7 has larger magnitude, so keep positive sign. Then subtract the magnitude. 7 minus 6 is 1. Leave the light term the same. And in general, if the number in the front, if the coefficient is 1, num the number in the front is called coefficient. It's called coefficient. If the coefficient is 1, we don't write 1. If the coefficient of a term, if, if the coefficient of a term is 1, we don't write 1. So the final answer is negative 9a square b plus a b square. Next. Fifteen. Six x minus four minus seven x minus nine. Six x minus four minus seven x minus nine. Combine like terms. Six x and negative seven x, they are like terms. They both contain x, they are like terms. When combining, when combining like term, follow addition rule. Positive six plus negative seven. Positive six plus negative seven. When adding two number with different sign, keep the sign from the number that has larger magnitude. So seven has larger magnitude. Keep negative sign. Then subtract the magnitude. Seven minus six is one. Like term stays the same x stays the same. Then what's left is negative 4 and negative 9. We also consider constants are like terms. Numbers are like terms. Constant number is called, numbers are called constants. Constants are also like terms. Negative 4 plus negative 9. Follow addition rule. Negative 4 plus negative 9. When adding two numbers with the same sign, keep the sign Add the magnitude, 4 plus 9 is 13. For your final answer, if the coefficient is 1, we don't write 1. If the coefficient is 1, we don't write 1. So the final answer is negative x minus 13. Next. 4x minus a minus 6y plus 14. Combine like terms. 4x and 6y, they are not like terms. They cannot be combined. 4x and 6y, they are not like terms. They cannot be combined. They, they contain different variables, different letters. They are not like terms. They cannot be combined. But a and 14, we consider the numbers are like terms. Constants are like terms. We can combine these two constants together. When we combine the like term, follow addition rule. Negative a, negative a plus 14. Negative a plus 14. They have, they have different sign. Follow addition rule, they have different sign. When adding two numbers with different sign, keep the sign from a number that has larger magnitude. 14 has larger magnitude, so I keep positive sign. And then Subtract the magnitude. 14 minus a is 6. And the rest, 4x, 6y stays the same. 4x, negative 6y stays the same. They are not like terms, so I leave it with this. Bring them down, they stay the same. 4x minus 6y plus 6. Negative a plus positive 14 is positive.
positive 6. Let's continue. Try more problems. Next. Negative 2 times 4x minus 3 plus 5x. For each of the following problems, you can always pause the video, solve the problem by yourself first, then look at my solution. Okay, let's solve it together. Negative 2 times 4x minus 3 plus 5x. When there is plumpsies, we can try to do distribution first. Try to distribute negative 2 into the plumpsies first. If I distribute negative 2 into the plumpsies, what do we have? Negative 2 times 4x is negative ax. Negative 2 times 4x is negative ax. Negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. Negative 2 times 4x is negative ax. Negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. Keep the last term the same. We distribute first, then combine like terms. Let's find a like term first. Positive ax, negative ax, and positive 5x, they are like terms. They both contain x, they are like terms. When combining like terms, follow addition rule. Negative a plus positive 5 is, is negative 3. When adding two numbers with different sign, keep the sign from the number that has larger magnitude. Negative a has larger magnitude, so I keep negative sign. Then subtract the magnitude. a minus 5 is 3. Leave the like term the same. Then after I combine negative ax and 5x, what's left is positive 6. Bring it down. And they cannot be combined. That's your final answer. Next, number 18. 5 times x minus 2 minus 4 times x plus 1. So when we see plumpsies, we distribute the number in the front first. When there are plumpsies, distribute the number in the front first. Distribute 5 first. 5 times x is 5x. Passive 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. Passive 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. For the second part, we need to distribute negative 4 into the parentheses. When we distribute, we treat this number, we treat this number as negative 4. We treat minus 4 as negative 4. Distribute negative 4 into the parentheses. Distribute negative 4 into the parentheses. Negative 4 times x is negative 4x. Negative 4 times positive 1 is negative 4. Then combine like terms. Then combine like we combine like terms. Positive five x and negative four x they are like terms. They both contain x. Positive five x and negative four x they are like terms. They both contain x. So when combine like terms, follow addition rule. Follow addition rule. When we adding, when we are adding two number, has they have opposite sign. Keep the sign from the number that has larger magnitude. Passive 5 has larger magnitude, so I keep passive sign. Then subtract the magnitude. 5 minus 4 is 1. 5 minus 4 is 1. And leave lighter the same. Leave x the same. Leave lighter x the same. Then we consider the constant, the numbers, are light terms. We also consider the numbers are light terms. When we combine light terms, follow addition rule. Negative 10 plus negative 4. They have same sign. So keep the sign and the magnitudes. 10 plus 4 is 14. For your final answer, if a number is passive in the front, we don't write passive sign in the front. If a number is passive, we don't write passive sign 
in the form. If the coefficient is 1, we don't write 1. So the final answer is x minus 14. The final answer is x minus 14. If the first term is positive, we don't write positive sign. If the coefficient is 1, we don't write 1. So the answer is x minus 14. Next. Negative 3 times 5y plus 7x minus y. When there is parentheses, we first of all distribute the number in the form first. If I distribute negative 3, what do I have? Negative 3 times 5y is negative 15y. Negative 3 times 7x is negative 21x. Minus y. Then we combine like terms. Then we try to combine like terms. Distribute first, then try to combine like terms. Like terms are the term with the same variables raised to the same power. In this example, 15y and negative y, they are like terms. They both contain y. Negative 15y and negative y, they are like terms. They both contain y. Then combine like term, follow additional rule, add the coefficient, add the coefficients, add the number in the form. Negative 15y coefficient is negative 15. What's the coefficient of negative y? What's the coefficient here? For negative y, there's no number in the form. What's the number in the form? So keep it in mind that one apple is the same as saying an apple. So same thing, 1x is the same as x, 1y is the same as y. So negative y can be rewrite as negative 1y. Negative y can be rewrite as negative 1y. Then combine like terms, follow addition rule. When we combine like terms, follow addition rule. When adding two terms with the same sign, when we're adding two terms with the same sign, keep the sign and the magnitude. 15 plus 1 is 16. And leave the light term y the same. What's left is what's left is 21x, negative 21x. This is not a light term. They cannot be combined. So that's your final answer. Next. 5 times negative 3 x squared minus y minus 2 x squared. 5 times negative 3 x squared minus y minus 2 x squared. Same thing. When there's parentheses, we distribute the number in the form first. Distribute the number in the form first. Take 5. Multiply to both terms. Positive 5 times negative 3x squared is negative 15x squared. Positive 5 times negative y is negative 5y. And leave the last term the same. Positive 5 times negative 3x is negative 15x squared. Positive 5 times negative y is negative 5y. Leave the last term the same. Then combine like terms. Negative 15x squared and negative 2x squared, they are like terms. They both contain x raised to the power of 2. They are like terms. They are both contain x. They both contain x raised to the power of 2. They are like terms. When combining like terms, follow addition rule. If two numbers have the same sign, keep the sign and the magnitude. 15 plus 2 is 17. Leave the like term the same. 
and firewall is not a light term, you bring it down. You can combine it, bring it down. Negative 17 x squared minus 5y. Next. x times 3y minus x plus x squared. x times 3y minus x plus x squared. First of all, when we see parentheses, we try to distribute the number in the front to both numbers first. Distribute x to both of them first. Distribute x to both of them first. x times 3y. x times 3y. x and y cannot be multiplied. x and y, they cannot be multiplied. So we write 3xy x times 3y x times 3y nothing can be multiplied so we write the number first write 3 first for the letters put in alphabetical order usually put in alphabetical order x y so we get 3xy x times 3y is 3xy next passive x times negative x positive x times negative x when we multiply two numbers with different sign answer is negative but x times x is x squared bring, bring the last term down we have 3xy minus x squared plus x squared plus x squared minus x squared they are like terms and also, they look exactly the same. When two light terms look exactly the same with opposite sign, they get cancelled. When two light terms look exactly the same, but with opposite signs, they get cancelled completely. They get cancelled completely. What's left is 3xy, natural final answer. When two light terms look exactly the same with, but with opposite signs, they get cancelled completely. Negative x squared and positive x squared cancel completely. What's left is 3xy. Next. Negative x plus 2y minus x. Negative x plus 2y minus x. So. If there's no constant in the front, if there's a negative sign in the front, we distribute the sign to both of them. Distribute negative sign to both of them. If I distribute negative sign to x, positive x become negative x. If I distribute negative sign to positive 2y, positive 2y become negative 2y. So if there's no constant in the front, Distribute the sign, distribute negative sign to both of them. Native, if I distribute negative sign to x, positive x become negative x. If I distribute net, negative sign to 2y, positive 2y become negative 2y. And we leave the last term the same. Then we combine like terms. Negative x and negative x, they are like terms. They are like terms. They both contain x. They don't they have the same sign. So they, 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 they look exactly the same, but they have the same sign. They don't get, they don't get cancelled. In the previous problem, these two terms have obvious, they have obvious sign, so they get cancelled. In this problem, they look exactly the same, but they have the same sign, so they don't get cancelled. They don't get cancelled. We need to combine these light term together. So, combine light term together. Negative x, if there's no coefficient, if there's no number in the front, no coefficient in the front, we consider the constant in the front is 1. If there's no coefficient in the front, we assume the coefficient is 1. Then combine like terms, follow addition rule. Negative 1 plus negative 1. When adding two numbers with the same sign, 
keeping the sign at the magnitude, and the magnitude, one plus one is two. Leave lighter than the sign, and bring two y down. Bring down. Bring negative two y down. And they are not light terms. They cannot be combined. And they are not light terms. They cannot be combined. That's the final answer. Next. Two x times x plus five minus three times x minus four. When there are parentheses, we distribute the number in the front first. Distribute two x to both of them. Two x times x. Two x times x. Number two stays the same. X times x is x squared. So two x times x is x squared. Two x times y. Two, sorry, two x times five. Two x times five. We multiply the number together. Two times five is ten. And leave x the way it is. So, two x times five is ten x. Next, we distribute negative three into the second parentheses. Distribute negative three. Into the second second parentheses, we treat minus three as negative three. Distribute negative three into the parentheses, into the second parentheses. Negative three times x is negative three x. Negative three times positive negative three times negative four is positive twelve. Negative three times negative four is positive twelve. Then we combine like terms. Like terms are the terms that have they, they have the same variable. Like terms are the terms which have the same variable raised to the same power. 10x and 3x they are like terms. They both contains x, and the exponent is the power is one for both of them. The power is one. Two x squared is not a like term because exponent is different. Two x squared is not a like term because exponent is different. Combine like terms. 10x, positive 10x, and negative 3x. Follow addition rule. Positive 10x and negative 3x. Follow addition rule. When we adding two numbers with different sign, keep the sign from the number that have larger magnitude. Here, positive 10 have larger magnitude, so I keep positive sign. Subtract the magnitudes. 10 minus 3 is 7. Leave light term the same. Then bring down 2x squared, bring down 12. And they are not like terms, they cannot be combined. So that's your final answer. Next, negative 3y times 2x minus y plus 4y times negative 2y minus. 3x. When there are parentheses, we distribute first. First of all, distribute negative 3y into the first parentheses. Distribute negative 3y into the first parentheses. Negative 3y times 2x. When I distribute, I have negative 3y times 2x. Multiply the number first. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Y times X, they cannot be multiplied. So I leave it the way it is. Y, X, write it in alphabetical order. Write it as X, Y. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Y times X is S, Y. So I have negative 6 S, Y. Negative 3 Y times negative Y. Negative three y times negative y. When we multiply two numbers with the same sign, double negative is positive. When we multiply two numbers with the same sign, double negative is positive. Three times three y 
times y. 3y times y will be 3y squared. 3y times y will be 3y squared. Leave number 3 the same. y times y is y squared plus 3y squared. Then distribute 4y into the second parenthesis. Distribute 4y into the second parenthesis. 4y times negative 2y. 4y times negative 2y. Multiply the number first. 4 times negative 2 plus 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. y times y is y squared. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. y times y is y squared. So we get negative a y squared. Then take 4y plus 4y times negative 3x. Plus 4y times negative 3x. Plus 4y times negative 3x. Multiply the numbers first. Plus 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. y times x, they cannot be multiplied. We don't know what s, y is, they cannot be multiplied. So we write it as s, y. 4y times negative 3x is negative 12sy. Then we combine like terms. Then we combine like terms. We can see that positive 3y squared and negative 8y squared, they are like terms. Positive 3y squared and negative 8y squared, they are like terms. So when we combine like term, follow addition rule. Positive 3 plus negative 8, when adding two number with opposite sign, Keep the sign from the number that has larger magnitude. Here, negative a has larger magnitude. Keep negative sign. a minus 3 is 5. Keep the sign from number with larger magnitude, then subtract the magnitude. a minus 3 is 5. Leave the light term the same. Leave the light term y squared the same. Another light term. 6sy, negative 6sy and negative 12sy, they are light terms. Negative 6sy and negative 12sy, they are light terms. They both contain s and y. When combining light terms, follow addition rule. Negative 6 plus negative 12. When we, when we are adding two numbers with, when we are adding two numbers with the same sign, keep the sign, add the magnitude, 6 plus 12. 18. Leave the light term the same. Next. x plus 2 times 2x minus 5. x plus 2 times 2x minus 5. When we have two parentheses multiplied together, we Distribute each number in the front in the first parenthesis into the second into into each number into the second parenthesis. We distribute each number in the first parenthesis to each number in the second parenthesis. I first of all distribute x to two x and negative five. Then I distribute two to two x and negative five. I distribute x to two x and negative five. Then Distribute 2 to 2x and negative 5. Let me distribute x first. Let me distribute x. Distribute x first. When I distribute x, x times 2x is 2x squared. x times negative 5. Positive x times negative 5 is negative 5x. Then I distribute 2. 2 times 2x is 4x. 2 times 2x is 4x. 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. Then combine like terms. Then we try to combine like terms. Like terms are the term with the same variable raised to the same power. Here, negative 5x and positive 4x are like terms. Negative 5x and positive 4x, they are like terms. When combining like terms, 
form of addition rule and the coefficient form of addition rule negative 5 plus positive 4 negative 5 plus positive 4 they have different sign so keep the sign from the number that has larger magnitude then subtract the coefficient subtract the magnitude 5 minus 4 is 1 leave the light term the same 2x squared and negative 10 they are not light terms so I bring them down don't make any change for the final answer if the coefficient is 1 we don't write 1 for the final answer if the coefficient is 1 we don't write 1 so the final answer is 2x squared minus x minus 10 next negative 3y minus 1 times 2y plus 3 negative 3y minus 1 times 2y plus 3 same thing when we have two parentheses multiplied together we distribute each term in the first parentheses to each term in the to each term in the second parentheses distribute negative 3y to each term in the second parenthesis, then distribute negative 1 to each term in the second parenthesis. Let me distribute negative 3 first, then I'll distribute negative 1. If I distribute negative 3y, negative 3y times 2y, negative 3 y times 2 y Multiply the number first. Negative 3 times positive 2 is negative 6. y times y is y squared. So if I distribute negative 3y times 2y is negative 6y squared. Negative 3y times 3 is negative 9y. Negative 3y times positive 3. Multiply the number first. Negative 3y times positive 3 is negative 9. Leave letter y the same. That's how I get negative 9y. Next. Then distribute negative 1 into the second parenthesis. Then distribute negative 1 into the second parenthesis. Negative 1 times negative 1 times 2y is negative 2y. Negative 1 times positive 3 is negative 3. Negative 1 times positive 3. Is negative 3. Then we try to combine like terms. Like terms are the terms like, like, which have the same variable. Like terms are the terms which have the same variable raised to the same power. Here are negative 9y and negative 2y. They are like terms. They both have they both have y. They are like terms. Combine like term. We follow addition rule. When we combine like term. We follow addition rule. Negative 9 plus negative 2. They have the same sign. Keep the sign at the magnitude. 9 plus 2 is 11. Leave the light term the same. Then negative 6 y square and negative 3, they are not light terms. Negative 6 y square, negative 3, they are not light terms. We leave them the same. Leave them the same. So bring both terms down. Negative 6 y square in the front negative 3 in the back then there are no more light terms that's the best we can do and that's your final answer next 4x plus 3 square 4x plus 3 square what does it mean? when we see square when we see square we always write the same thing. Multiply by itself. When we see square, 4x plus 3 square, that means 4x plus 3 multiply by itself. 4x plus 3 square means 4x plus 3 multiply by itself. Then we distribute. Then when we see two parentheses, we distribute. Distribute 4x into 
First of all, we distribute 4x into the second 4x into the second parentheses. 4x times 4x. Four x times four x is sixteen x squared. Four x times four x is sixteen x squared. Four x times three. Four x times three is twelve x. Then we distribute three into the second parentheses. Distribute four x first. Then distribute three into the second parentheses. Three times four x is another twelve x. Three times four x is another twelve x. Three times three is nine. Then we combine like terms. The only like term here is twelve x and twelve x. Sixteen x squared is not a like term. They have different powers. So the like term is twelve x and twelve x. Follow a different rule. 12 plus 12, they have the same sign. Keep the sign and the magnitude. 12 plus 12 is 24. Leave the light turn the same. Then bring 16x squared down. Bring positive 9 down. And they are not light terms. They cannot be combined. That's the final answer. Next. 2x minus 5 squared. 2x minus 5 squared. When we see square, write the same expression twice. Write the same expression twice. 2x minus 5 times 2x minus 5. That's what 2x minus 5 squared means. Then distribute. Distribute 2x into the second parentheses. Distribute 2x into the second parentheses first. 2x times 2x is 4x squared. 2 times 2 is 4x times x is x squared. 2x times negative 5 is negative 10x. 2x times negative 5 is negative 10x. Then we distribute negative 5 into the second parentheses. Negative 5 times 2x is negative 10x. Negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25. Negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25. Then we combine like terms. Negative 10x and negative 10x, they are like terms. Follow the addition rule. When we are adding two numbers with the same sign, keep the sign and the magnitude. 10 plus 10 is 20. And leave the like term x the same. Bring 4x squared down. And bring 25 down. Then we can, then we can see that they are not like terms. They cannot be combined. So that's your final answer. Next. 4 minus 2 times 3x minus 5. 3x plus 5. This problem looks easier. Looks easier than the previous one. But be very, very careful. Usually people make mistakes. Be very very careful. People usually make a very very common mistake. Usually people do 4 minus 2 first. That's a very very big mistake. Negative 2 parentheses 3x plus 4 means negative 2 times the parentheses. We should do multiplication before subtraction. If you do 4 minus 2 first, that's wrong. The entire problem was wrong. We do multiplication before subtraction. So we multiply negative 2 into its parentheses, into the second parentheses first. So when we multiply, distribute negative 2 into the second parentheses. Distribute negative 2 into the second parentheses, into the parentheses. Leave number 4 the same. Distribute negative 2 into the parentheses. Negative 2 times 3x is negative 6x. Negative 2 times positive 5 is negative 10. Then we combine like terms. Positive 4 and negative 10, they are like terms. 6x is not like term. These two terms, they don't have x. These two terms, 
don't have x. So 6x is not a light term. We combine the number together, not the constants are light terms. Follow the addition rule. Positive 4 plus negative 10. Positive 4 plus negative 10. Then we adding two numbers with different sign. Keep the sign from the number that has that has larger magnitude. Negative 10 has larger magnitude. So I keep negative 10 minus 4. Subtract the magnitude. 10 minus 4. Subtract the magnitude. 10 minus 4 is 6. 6x is not a light term. Bring it down. Bring negative 6x down. Then that's your final answer. Next. 7x minus 2x. 7x minus 2x times x plus 3. 7x minus 2x times x plus 3. So be very, very careful. Subtraction, we have subtraction here and multiplication here. We must do multiplication before subtraction. We have subtraction and multiplication. We must do multiplication before subtraction. So we first of all distribute negative 2x into the parentheses. Distribute negative 2x into the parentheses. I leave 7x the same. Negative 2x times x. Negative 2x times x is negative 2x squared. Negative 2x times positive 3 is negative 6x. Then combine like terms. 7x and negative 6 they are like terms. Negative 2x squared is not a like term because the exponent is different. So 7x and negative 6x they are like terms. If we combine like terms, follow addition rule. We add a coefficient, follow addition rule. 7, positive 7 plus negative 6. Positive 7 plus negative 6. When we adding two numbers with different sign, keep the sign from the number that has larger magnitude. Positive 7 it has larger magnitude, so I keep positive sign. Then subtract the magnitude. 7 minus, 7 minus 6 is 1. Leave light turn the same. And negative 2x squared negative 2 x square is not a light term. We leave it the same. Bring it down, leave it the same. For your final answer, if the first term is passive, we don't write passive sign. If the first term is passive, we don't write passive sign. And if the coefficient is 1, we don't write 1. If the coefficient is 1, we don't write 1. So the final answer is x minus 2x squared. Next, let's look at something different. Evaluate each of the following expressions. First example, evaluate 2x squared minus 3y squared when x equal to 3 and y equal to 2. To evaluate an algebraic expression, we substitute the values for each variables. To evaluate an algebraic expression, we substitute the given values for each variable. Here, we, x is 3, y is 2. We substitute 3 for x. Substitute 2 for y. So, 2x squared minus 3y squared. Substitute 3 for x and substitute 2 for y. We write 2 parentheses 2 squared minus 3 parentheses sorry x is 3 substitute 3 for x y is 2 substitute 2 for y so when x is 3 we substitute 3 for x when y is 2 substitute 2 for y then follow the order of operation 
do exponent first. 3 square is 9. 2 square is 4. Then we have multiplication, subtraction, and multiplication. We do multiplication before subtraction. 2 times 9 is 18. Keep subtraction. 3 times 4 is 12. 18 minus 12 is 6. So the final answer is 6. Next example. Evaluate 5x squared minus 2x minus 4 when x equal to negative 3. Evaluate 5x squared minus 2x minus 4 when x equal to negative 3. We substitute negative 3 for x. So 5x squared minus 2x minus 4. Substitute negative 3 for x. We have 5 times negative 3 squared minus 2 times negative 3 minus 4. Then we follow the order of operations. Do exponents first. Negative 3 squared. Negative 3 squared means negative 3 times negative 3. Double negative is positive. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. So we have number 5 times positive 9. Keep the rest the same. Do exponent first. Keep the rest the same. Then we have multiplication, subtraction, multiplication, addition. We do multiplication before addition and subtraction. So do multiplication first. Positive 5 times positive 9 is positive 45. Negative 2 times negative 3. We treat minus 2 as negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. We multiply two numbers of the same sign. Double negative is positive. We get positive 6. And keep minus 4 the same. Now we have addition and subtraction. Addition and subtraction have the same priority. So we work from left to right. Work from left to right. 45 plus 6 is 51. 51 take away 4 is 47. Number 3. Evaluate 3x minus 4y squared minus 5 when x equal to negative 2 and y equal to 3 evaluate 3x minus 4y squared minus 5 when x equal to negative 2 and y equal to 3 3x minus 4y squared minus 5 we substitute negative 2 for x. Substitute 3 for y. 3 times x, x is negative 2, minus 4 times y, y is positive 3, minus 5. Same thing, we follow order of operation. Do exponent first. Exponent, do exponent first. 3 squared is 9. Leave the rest the same. 3 times negative 2 minus 4 times 9 minus 5. Do exponent first. 3 squared is 9. Leave the rest the same. Then for the order of operations, we have multiplication and subtraction. We must do multiplication first. Positive 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Negative 4 times 9. We treat minus 4 as negative 4. Negative 4 times positive 9 is negative 36 minus 5. Then 
negative 6 minus 36 minus 5. We, treat, we try to combine like terms. So we treat minus negative 6 as negative 6. We treat minus 36 as negative 36. We treat negative 5 as minus 4 as negative 5. Combine like terms. Negative 6 plus negative 36 plus negative 5. When we combine like term, follow addition rules. Follow addition rule. When we combine like term, follow addition rule. When we adding numbers with the same sign. When we adding numbers with the same sign. Keep the sign at the magnitude. Keep the, keep the sign at the magnitude. 6 plus negative 36. Sorry, 6 plus 36 is 42. 42 plus 5 is 47. When we adding numbers with the same sign, keep the sign and the magnitude. Number 4. Complete the following tables. In this table here, first column represents different S values. In order to complete the table, we substitute each x value into the equation here. So we complete each row individually. In the first row, s equal to 1. We substitute 1 into this algebraic expression. 3x squared minus 1 plus x. Substitute 1 for each x. We have 3 times 1 squared minus 1 plus 1. Substitute 1 for each x. Then follow pandas. 1 squared is 1. We compute exponent first. 1 squared is 1. Leave the rest the same. Then we have multiplication, subtraction, and addition. We do multiplication before subtraction and addition. 3 times 1 is 3. Minus 1 plus 1. We have Now we have subtraction and addition. They have the same priority. So we work from left to right. 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. So in the first row, when I substitute 1, I get 3. For your answer, put 3 here. That's the answer to the first row. That's the answer to the first row. For the second row, x is negative 2. We substitute negative 2 for each x. 3x squared minus 1 plus x. Using the same expression, substitute negative 2 for x. We have 3 times negative 2 squared plus 1 plus negative 2. Substitute x, substitute negative 2 for each x. Then follow order of, of operations. We do exponent first. Negative 2 squared. What's negative 2 squared? Negative 2 squared means negative 2 times negative 2. When we multiply, double negative is positive. 2 times 2 is 4. We have 3 times positive 4. Leave the rest the same. Do exponent first. Leave the rest the same. 3 times positive 4 is 12. We do multiplication before addition. Sorry, it should be minus 1 in the middle. It should be minus 1 in the middle. 3 times positive 4 is positive 12. Minus 1 plus minus 2. Then we have subtraction and addition. Yeah, they, have, they have the same priority. We work from left to right. We work from left to right. 12 minus 1 is 11 plus negative 2 
passive 11 plus negative 2. When we add in two numbers with different sign, keeping the sign from the number with that has, that has larger magnitude. 11 has larger magnitude, so I keep positive sign. And subtract the magnitude. 11 minus 2 is 9. So the answer is 9. Put 9 here in the second row. That means when well, S is negative 2, this expression equal to 9. Now the third row. In the third row, X equal to 4. In the third row, S equal to 4. We substitute 4 for each X. We have 3X squared minus 1 plus X. Substitute 4 for each x we have 3 times 4 square minus 1 plus 4 substitute 4 for each x then follow order of operations we do exponent first 4 square means 4 times 4 4 times 4 is 16 Keeping the rest the same. 3 times 16 is 48. We do multiplication before addition and subtraction. 3 times 16 is 48. Keeping the rest the same. Then we have subtraction and addition. Work from left to right. They have same priority. Work from left to right. 48 minus 1 is 47. 47 plus 4 is 51. So where s is 4, this expression equal to 51. We put 51 in the third row. That's how we complete the tables. Now, let's look at a different table. In this table, the first column represents the diff different x values. Second column represents different y values. To complete the table, we need to substitute different x and y value into the expression. So let's calculate the first row first. In the first row, x equal to negative 2, y equal to negative 3. We substitute negative 2 and negative 3 into the expression. The expression is 2x minus 4y plus x squared. We substitute negative 2 for each x. Substitute negative, substitute negative 3 for y. We have 2 times negative 2 minus 4 times negative 3 plus negative 2 squared. Substitute negative 2 for each x. Substitute negative 3 for y. Then we follow the order of operations. Do exponent first. Exponent first. Negative 2 squared. That means negative 2 times negative 2. When you multiply two negative numbers, double negative is positive. 2 times 2 is 4. Positive 4 is the same as 4. So negative 2 squared is 4. Keep the rest the same. 2 times negative 2 minus 4 times negative 3. Then we do multiplication next. Multiplication has higher priority than addition and subtraction. Do multiplication before addition and subtraction. 2 times negative 2. When we multiply two numbers with different sign, answer is negative. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Next, next you trade minus 4 as negative 4. When you multiply negative 4 times negative 3, double negative is positive. 4 times 3 is 12. Keep the last term the same. Then we work from left to right. Negative 2, negative 4, 
plus 12. When we add in two numbers with different sign, keep the sign from the number that has that has larger magnitude. Here, 12 has larger magnitude, so we keep positive positive sign. Then subtract the magnitude. 12 minus 4 is A. That's the first two terms. Keep the last term the same. Keep the last term the same. Positive 4. Plus 4. Then positive A plus positive 4. A plus 4 is 12. So in the first row, when I substitute negative 2 for x, negative 3 for y, I get 12. So put 12 in the first row. That's an answer for the first row. For the second row, we substitute negative 1 for x, substitute 4 for y. So second row, x equal to negative 1, y equal to 4. Substitute negative 1 for x, substitute 4 for y. 2x minus 4y plus x squared. Substitute negative 1 for x. 2 times negative 1. 4 times 4. Plus negative 1 squared. I substitute, ne substitute negative 1 for each x. Then substitute 4 for y. Follow the order of operation to exponent first. To exponent before multiplication. Negative 1 squared. Negative 1 squared means negative 1 times negative 1. Double negative is positive. So the answer is positive 1. Leave the, keep the rest the same. 2 times negative 1 minus 4 times 4 plus 1. Do exponent first. Negative 1 squared is positive 1. Then we have multiplication, subtraction, multiplication, addition. We do multiplication before addition and subtraction. Let's multiply. Positive 2 times negative 1. When we multiply two numbers with different sign, answer is negative. 2 times 1 is 2. Second term. Treat minus 4 as negative 4. Negative 4 times positive 4. When we multiply two numbers with opposite sign, answer is negative. 4 times 4 is 16. And keep the last term the same. Then we have subtraction and addition. They, they, have, they have the same priority. We work from left to right. From left to right. Try to combine like terms. Try to combine like terms. Combine means adding. Negative 2 plus negative 16. Negative 2 plus negative 16. We treat this as negative 2 plus negative 16. When we add in two numbers with the same sign, keep the sign and the magnitude. 2 plus 16 is 18. Keep the last term the same. Negative 18 plus 1. When we add in two numbers with different sign, keep the sign from the number that has larger magnitude. Here, 18 has larger magnitude, so I keep negative sign. Then subtract the magnitude. 18 minus 1 is 17. So that's an answer for the second row. Put it here. Negative 17 is an answer for the second row. Then for the third row, for the third row, we substitute 2 for x. Substitute negative 1 for y. For the third row, x is 2. Y is negative 1. Substitute 2 for x. Substitute negative 1 for y. We have 2x minus 4y plus x squared. It's 2 times 2 minus 4 times negative 1 plus 2 squared. We substitute 2 for each x and substitute negative 1 for y. Follow the order of operation. We do exponent before addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Do exponent first. 
positive two square, two square is four. Two square is four. Do exponent first. Keep the rest the same. Two times two minus four times negative one. Then we have multiplication, multiplication, subtraction, multiplication, addition. We do multiplication before addition and subtraction. Two times two is four. Treat negative minus four as negative four. Treat minus four as negative four. Multiply the numbers. Negative four times negative one, double negative is positive. Four times one is four. Keep the last term the same. Then together, four plus four plus four. Four plus four plus four is twelve. That's an answer for the third row. Next, let's study function notation. Function notation looks like this. F parentheses x. F parentheses x. It's red. f of x function notation f parentheses x it's red f of x look at some simple example first first example let f of x equal to 3x minus 2 Evaluate f of three, f of five, f of negative one, and f of negative two. Let f of x be three x minus two. Evaluate f of three. F parentheses three is red. F of three. F prompts is 5 is red. F of 5. That's F of negative 1 and that's F of negative 2. Evaluate each of them individually. First one. F of 3. F of 3. The number in the parentheses is 3. The number in the parentheses is 3. That means we substitute 3 for x. We substitute 3 for x. So we have 3 times 3 minus 2. We substitute 3 for x. If I substitute 3 for x, follow the order of operation. We do multiplication before subtraction. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 minus 2 is 7. So we say f of 3 equal to 7. So we say f of 3 equal to 7. That's the value for f of 3. f of 3 equal to 7. Next, f of 5. f of 5 means we substitute 5 for x. If the number in the parentheses is 5, that means we substitute 5 for x. We have 3 times 5 minus 2. Again, follow order of operation. 3 times 5 is 15. Keep minus 2 the same. 15 minus 2 is 13. So we say f of 5 equal to 13. Next f of negative 1. The number in the parentheses is negative 1. That means we substitute negative 1 for x. We substitute negative 1 for x. We have 3 times negative 1 minus 2. Follow order of operation. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. 
positive 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Keep minus 2 the same. Negative 3 minus 2. Consider they are like terms. Consider we combining like terms. When we combine like term, follow addition rule. Negative 3 plus negative 2. Negative 3 plus negative 2. We treat minus 2 as negative 2. Negative 3 plus negative 2. They have same sign. Keep the sign, then add the magnitude. 3 times 2 is 5. So the answer is negative 5. So f of negative 1 equal to negative 5. Next, f of negative 2. f of negative 2. The number in the parentheses is negative 2. That means we substitute negative 2 for x. We substitute negative 2 for x. We have 3 times negative 2 minus 2. Substitute negative 2 for x. 3 times negative 2 minus 2. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Keep minus 2 the same. Negative 6 minus 2. We try to combine like terms. Consider there are, consider there are two different terms. Try to combine like terms. When we combine like term, follow addition rule. Negative 6 plus negative 2. Negative 6 plus negative 2. When we add in two numbers with the same sign, keep the sign at the magnitude. 6 plus 2 is 8. So f of negative 2 is negative 8. Next example. Let g of x equal to 2x squared minus 1. Evaluate g of 2, g of 4, g of negative 3. and g of negative 1. Evaluate g of 2, g of 4, g of negative 3, g of negative 1. Let's do each of them individually. First one, g of 2. Here, g is the length of the function. There's no difference between f and g. f is the length of the function, g is, is another length of of a function. There's no difference between f and g. g of x is the same as f of x. So for g of 2, the number in the parentheses is 2. We substitute this 2 for x. The number in the parentheses is 2. We substitute 2 for x. 2 times 2 squared minus 1. Substitute 2 for x. 2 times 2 squared minus 1. Follow order of operation. Do exponent first. 2 squared is 4. Then we do multiplication. 2 times 4 is a. a minus 1 equal to 7. That's g of 2. Next, g of 4. g of 4. Number in the parentheses is 4. We substitute 4 for x. 2 times 4 squared minus 1. Substitute 4 for x. Do exponent first. 4 squared is 16. 2 times 16 is 32. Keep minus 1 the same. 32 minus 1 is 31. So we say g of 2 is 7. So g of 4 is 31. g of 2 is 7. g of 4 is 31. Next, g of negative 3. 
g of negative 3, we substitute negative 3, the num substitute negative 3 for x. The number in the parentheses is negative 3. We substitute negative 3 for x. We have 2 times negative 3 squared minus 1. Do exponent first. Negative 3 squared. That means negative 3 times negative 3. Negative 3 squared means negative 3 times negative 3. When you multiply, double negative is positive. 3 times 3 is 9. So the answer is positive 9. Do exponent first. Negative 3 squared is positive 9. 2 times 9 is 18. Keep minus 1 the same. 18 minus 1 is 17. So we say g of negative 3 is 17. Next, g of negative 1. g of negative 1. The number in the parentheses is negative 1. So we substitute negative 1 for x. Substitute negative 1 for x. We have 2 times negative 1 squared minus 1. Substitute negative 1 for x. 2 times negative 1 squared minus 1. To exponent first, negative 1 squared. Negative 1 squared means negative 1 times negative 1, which is positive 1. Negative 1 times negative 1, double negative is positive, and 1 times 1 is 1. Keep minus 1 the same. Then do multiplication. 2 times positive 1 is positive 2. Keep, keep minus 1 the same. 2 minus 1 is 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. So we say g of negative 1 equal to 1. Example 3. Let f of x be 3 minus 4x evaluate f of 1 f of 2 f of negative 2 sorry f of negative 2 f of letter a f of negative letter a f of negative f of 1 minus x and f of 2x. Let f of x be 3 minus 4x. Evaluate f of 1, f of negative 2, f of letter a, f of negative letter a, f of 1 minus x, and f of 2x. Let's solve each of them individually. First one, f of 1. f of 1 means we substitute 1 for x. The number in the parentheses is 1. We substitute 1 for x. We have 3 minus 4 times 1. Follow order of operation. We do multiplication before subtraction. 4 times 1 is 4. 3 minus 4. We treat their different terms. Treat minus 4 as negative 4. Treat net minus 4 as negative 4. We try to combine like terms. Positive 3. Positive 3 plus negative 4. When we are adding two numbers, when we are adding two numbers with different sign, keep the sign from the number that has larger magnitude. Negative 4 has larger magnitude, so I keep negative sign. And 4 minus 3 is 1. Keep negative sign. 4 minus 3 is negative 1. So f of 1 equal to negative 1. Next example f of negative 2. The number in the parentheses 
Number in the parentheses is negative two, so we substitute negative two for x. Three minus four times negative two substitute negative two for x. Do multiplication first. When we do multiplication, we treat minus four as negative four. Negative four times negative two, double negative is positive. Four times two is eight. Leave number three the same. Bring three down. Leave number three the same. Negative four times negative two is positive eight. Then do addition. Three plus eight is eleven. So f of negative two equal to eleven. Next, f of letter a. The number in the parentheses is letter a. So we substitute letter a for x. Substitute letter a for x. We have three minus four a. Substitute letter a for x. Then we have three minus four a here. We try to combine like terms, but they are not like terms. They can be combined. So this is your final answer. So f of a. Equal to three minus four a. There's nothing we can do. We leave it the way it is. F of a is three minus four a. Next example, f of negative a. F of negative letter a. We substitute negative letter a for x. The number in the in the parentheses is negative letter a. We substitute negative a for letter x. We have three minus four times negative a. Substitute negative letter a for x. Then here we can try to multiply. Negative four treat minus four as negative four. We treat minus four as negative four. Negative four times negative letter a. Double negative is positive. Four times a. They cannot be multiplied. We leave it the same as four a. Bring three down. We have three plus four a. Next, we try to combine like terms, but they are not like terms. We can't combine them, so leave it the way it is. That's the best we can do. Leave it the way it is. That's your final answer. That's your final answer. So we say f of negative a is. Three plus four a. F of negative a is three plus four a. Next one. F of one minus x. F of one minus x. The number in the parentheses is one minus x. We substitute one minus x for x for this x here. Substitute one minus x for x. We have three minus four times one minus x. We substitute one minus x for x. Substitute one minus x for x. Then simplify this expression. Simplify this algebraic expression. Three minus four times one minus x. When there's parentheses, we distribute negative four first. When there's parentheses, we distribute negative four into the parentheses first. So multiply negative four to both terms in the parentheses. Leave number three the same. Negative four times one is negative four. Negative four times negative x, double negative is positive. Four times x is. Four x, negative four times negative x is positive four x. Then we try to combine like terms. Combine like terms. Positive three and negative four they are like terms. Positive three and negative four they are like terms. We combine like terms. Follow addition rule. When we combine like terms, follow addition rule. Positive three plus negative four. When we combine like terms, follow addition rule. Positive three plus negative four. When two numbers have 
when two numbers have different sign, keep the sign from the number that has larger magnitude. Negative four has larger magnitude, so I keep negative sign. Four minus three is one. So positive three plus negative four. When I combine like term, I have negative one. And leave four x the same. So the final answer. So the final answer we say f of one minus x equal to negative one plus four x. Next one, f of 2x f of 2x the number in the parentheses is 2x the number in the parentheses is 2x we substitute 2x for x substitute 2x for this x everything else stays the same we have 3 minus 4 times 2x 3 minus 4 times 2x. We replace 2x with x. Then we multiply first. Leave number 3 the same. Negative 4 times 2x. Negative 4 times 2x is negative ax. Next, we try to combine like terms, but there's only two terms. There's only two, there are only two terms. They are not like term. They cannot be combined. So that's your final answer. So we say f of 2x is 3 minus ax. That's your final answer. Example 4. Let g of x equal to 3x squared minus 4x minus 2. Evaluate, evaluate g of 1, g of negative 2, g of 3, g of letter A, g of negative letter A, and g of 2x. First one, g of 1. The number in the parentheses is 1. So we plug in number 1 for each x in the function. Plug in negative 1, plus, sorry, plug in 1 for each x in the function. 3 times 1 square minus 4 times 1 minus 2. Substitute 1 for each x. Three times one square minus four times one minus two. We follow order of operation. Do exponent first. One square is one. Leave the rest the same. Do exponent first. Keep the rest the same. Then we do multi multiplication. Three times one is three. Three minus four is negative four. Next we treat minus 4 is negative 4. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Keep minus 2 the same. Next, we do subtraction from left to right. Subtraction from left to right. 3 minus 4. 3 minus 4. We try to combine like terms. Treat this as positive 3 plus negative 4. 3 minus 4, we train this as positive 3 plus negative 4. When we're adding two numbers with the same with different sign, keep the sign from the number that has larger magnitude. So negative 4 has larger magnitude, we keep negative, negative sign. Then we subtract the magnitude. 4 minus 3 is 1. So 3 minus 4 is negative 1. Leave the last term the same. Then we have negative 1 minus 2. Trade minus 2 as negative 2. We try to combine like terms. Trade negative 2 as 
trade minus two as negative two. Negative one plus negative two. We try to combine like terms. We trade minus two as negative two. Negative one plus negative two. When we add in two number with the same sign, keeping the sign add the magnitude. One plus two is three. So we get negative three. So negative one plus negative two is negative three. So we say g of one equal to negative three. So g of one equal to negative three. Next, we have g of negative two. G of negative two. The number in the parentheses is negative two. We substitute negative two for each x. Substitute negative two for each x. We have three times negative two squared minus four times negative two minus two. Substitute negative two for each x. Substitute negative two for each x. Then we do exponent first. Follow order of, of, of operation. Do exponent first. Negative two squared means negative two times negative two, which is positive four. Negative two squared means negative two times negative two, which is positive four. And leave the rest the same. Do exponent first. Keep the rest the same. Next, we do multiplication. Passive 3 times passive 4 is passive 12. We treat minus 4 as negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 2. Negative 4 times negative 2 is passive 8. Double negative is passive. Keep the last term the same. Keep the last term the same. Then we have addition and subtraction. We work from left to right. 12 plus 8. Is 20. Keep minus 2 in the same. 20 minus 2 is 18. So the final answer is 18. We say g of negative 2 equal to 18. g of negative 2 equal to 18. Next, we have g of 3. G of 3 means we substitute 3 for each x. G of 3 means we substitute 3 for each x. Substitute 3 for each x. 3 times 3 squared minus 4 times 3 minus 2. We substitute 3 for each x. Do exponent first. Do exponent first. 3 squared is 9. 3 squared is 9. Keep the rest the same. Minus 4 times 3 minus 2. Next, we do multiplication. 3 times 9 is 27. Treat minus 4 as negative 4. Negative 4 times 3. Negative 4 times positive 3 is negative 12. Keep the last term the same. Then we do subtraction from left to right. 27 minus 12 is 15. Keep minus 2 the same. 15 minus 2 is 13. So the final answer is 13. We say g of 3 equal to 13. g of 3 equal to 13. Next, g of a. The number in the parentheses is letter a here. We plug in letter a for each x. Letter a represents a number, and the number in the parentheses is letter a. We plug in letter a for each x. We have 3 a squared minus 4 times letter a 
minus 2. This is an algebraic expression. We try to simplify. Try to combine like terms. We try to combine like terms. Do we see any like term here? Like term is the term contains the same variable raised to the same power. The first two terms, they contain the same variable, letter A, but letter A has different, different powers. First term has a square, second term doesn't have a square, so they are, they are not like terms, they cannot be combined. Last term doesn't have an A, last term doesn't have an A, they are not like terms, they cannot be combined. That's your final answer. We can simplify. That's our final answer. So we say g of a is 3a squared minus 4a minus 2. Next. g of native a, g of native letter a. G of native letter A. We substitute native A for each x. Substitute native A for each x. We have 3 times native A squared minus 4 times native A minus 2. Substitute native A for each x. 3 times native A squared minus 4 times native A minus 2. Then simplify the, the, this algebraic expression. We can do exponent first. Do exponent first. Native a square. Native a square means native letter a times native letter a. When you multiply native letter a times native letter a, double native is positive. Letter a times letter a is a square. So native a square is actually positive a square. So we have 3 times a square. We don't write positive sign. If a number is positive, usually we don't write positive sign. So native a square is positive a square. Next, multiply. We treat minus 4. Uh, leave, leave it for now, leave it for now. To exponent first, to exponent first, leave the rest the same. Do exponent first, leave the rest the same, keep the rest the same. Next, we can do multiplication. Next, do multiplication. 3 times a squared is, they cannot be multiplied. So we leave it as 3a squared. And we treat minus 4 as negative 4. Negative 4 times negative letter a is positive 4a. Double negative is positive. 4 times a. They cannot be multiplied, so I leave it as 4a. Double negative is positive. 4 times a is 4a. Then I keep the last term the same. Keep the last term the same. So, that's your final answer. We, cannot, yes, we can combine light terms. They are not light terms. We can combine light terms. So, that's the final answer. So, we say g of negative a equal to 3a squared plus 4a minus 2. That's the final answer. That's the final answer. Next one. g of 2x. g of 2x. The number in the parentheses is 2x. So we substitute 2x for each x. Substitute 2x. For each x, we have 3 times 2x squared minus 4 times 2x minus 2. Substitute 2x for each x. Substitute 2x for each x. Then simplify this algebraic expression. Simplify this algebraic expression. Do exponent first. Do exponent first. Two x square. Two x square. It means two x times two x. Two x square. It means two x times two x. 
multiply. 2 times 2 is 4. x times x is x squared. So if I multiply 2x squared, I have 4x squared. 2x squared, it means 2x times 2x. 2 times 2 is 4. x times x is x squared. So 2x squared is 4x squared. Keep the rest the same. Keep number 3 the same. Keep negative 4 times 2x the same. Keep minus 2 the same. 2x squared is 4x squared. Keep the rest the same. Do exponent first. Keep the rest the same. Next, we do multiplication. 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 4 is 12. Leave x squared the same. Next, we treat negative 4 as, we treat minus 4 as negative 4. Negative 4 times 2x is negative 8x. Keep minus 2 the same. Then we, try to, then we try to combine like terms, but they are not like terms here. 12x squared and 8x, they are not like terms. We can't combine them. So that's your final answer. So we say g of 2x is 12x squared minus ax minus 2. That's the final answer. Example 5. Let f of x equal to x squared minus 6x minus 4. Evaluate f of negative 4, f of negative x, f of negative 3x, and f of 1 minus x. First one, f of negative 4. The number in the parentheses is negative 4. So I substitute negative 4 for x. We have negative 4 squared minus 6 times negative 4 minus 4. Substitute negative 4 for each x. Then follow order of, follow order of operation. To exponent first, net 4 square is net 4 square means net 4 times net 4. Net 4 square it means net 4 times net 4. Double negative is positive. 4 times 4 is 16. So to exponent first, net 4 square is Passive 16. Keep the rest the same. Do exponent first. Keep the rest the same. Next, we have addition, multiplication, and subtraction. We do addition. We do multiplication first. Do multiplication, but keep the rest the same. Keep passive 16 the same. Negative 6. We treat minus 6 as negative 6. Treat minus 6 as negative 6. Negative 6 minus negative 6 times negative 4. Negative 6 times negative 4. Double negative is positive. 6 times 4 is 24. Keep the last term the same. Then we have addition and subtraction. We work from left to right. Positive 16 plus 24 is positive 40. Keep minus 4 the same. 40 minus 4 is 36. Next, f of negative x. The number in the parentheses is negative x. We substitute negative, negative x for x. Substitute negative x for x. So we have negative x squared minus 6 times negative x minus 4. Substitute negative x for each x.
do exponent first. We have negative x squared. Negative x squared, it means negative x times negative x. When we multiply, double negative is positive. x squared times x squared is, sorry, x times x is x squared. Double negative is positive. x times x is x squared. If the first term is positive, we don't write positive sign. That's the first term. If the first term is positive, we don't write positive sign. So we keep it as x squared. That's the first term. Then do exponent first. Keep the rest the same. Minus 6 times negative x minus 4. Next, we do multiplication. So keep the rest the same. x squared. We try to multiply negative 6 to negative x. We treat minus 6 as negative x. Net negative 6. We treat minus 6 as negative 6. Negative 6 times negative x. Double negative is positive. 6 times x is 6x. They cannot be multiplied. We leave it in the way it is. 6 times x is 6x. Keep minus 4 in the same. Then we try to combine like term. But nothing can be combined. Nothing can be combined. There are no, there's no like terms. Nothing can be combined. So that's your final answer. Nothing can be combined. That's your final answer. First one, we say f of net 4 equal to 36. The second one, we say f of net x equal to x squared plus 6x minus 4. Next, f of net 3x. f of net 3x, we substitute net 3x for each x. So we have negative 3x squared minus 6 times negative 3x minus 4. Substitute negative 3x for each x. Then simplify the expression. Simplify the expression. Do exponent first. Negative 3x squared, it means negative 3x times negative 3x. We multiply the numbers first. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. Double negative is positive. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. x times x is x squared. If the first term is, this is the first term, if the first term is positive, we don't write positive sign. So positive 9x squared is the same as 9x squared. Do exponent first, keep the rest the same. Do exponent first, keep the rest the same. Next, we do multi multiplication. The first term the same. Do multiplication. We treat minus 6 as negative 6. Negative 6 times negative 3x. Negative 6 times negative 3x, multiply numbers first. Negative 6 times negative 3, double negative is positive. 6 times 3 is 18. We leave letter x the same. Keep minus 4 the same. Next, we try to combine like terms. But there's no like term we can combine. So the final answer is f of negative 3x equal to 9x squared plus 18x minus 4. That's your final answer. We can simplify. Next, f of 1 minus x. f of 1 minus x. What's in the parentheses is 1 minus x. So we substitute 1 minus x for each x. What's in the parentheses is 1 minus x. We substitute 1 minus x 
for each x. We have 1 minus x squared minus 6 times 1 minus x minus 4. Substitute 1 minus x substitute 1 minus x for each x. I have 1 minus x squared minus 6 times 1 minus x minus 4. Then simplify the expression. Do exponent first. Do exponent first. We have 1 minus x squared. 1 minus x squared, it means 1 minus x times 1 minus x. 1 minus x squared, it means 1 minus x times 1 minus x. We distribute each term in the first parenthesis into each term in the second parenthesis. I first spell distribute 1 to 1 and x. Then I distribute negative x to 1 and negative x. Let me distribute 1 first, then I'll dis distribute negative x. One times one is one. One positive one times negative x, they have different sign, and so it's negative. Positive one times negative x is negative x. Then we distribute negative x into the second parenthesis. Negative x times positive one is negative x. Negative x times positive one is negative x. Negative x times negative x, double negative is positive x times x is x squared. Next, we try to combine like terms. Next, we try to combine like terms. For negative x, for each negative x, if there's no number in the front, we assume the number in the front is 1. If there's no coefficient in the front, we assume that the coefficient is 1. So. We write it as 1 minus x minus x plus x squared. If there's no coefficient in the front, we assume the coefficient is 1. If there's no number in the front, we assume the number in the front is 1. Then combine like terms. 1x, negative 1x, and negative 1x, they are like terms. Negative 1x and negative 1x, they are like terms. When we combine like term and the coefficient, follow a different rule. Negative one plus negative one. They have they have same sign. Keep the sign and the magnitude. Leave the light term the same. Light term is x. Leave the light term the same. Then we keep the first term. Keep the last term. Combine negative one x, negative one x, I got negative two x. So that's the first part, that's the exponent. I have one minus two x plus x squared. Do exponent first, keep the rest the same. Do exponent first, keep the rest the same. Then, next we do multiplication. Next we do multiplication. If there's nothing in front of parentheses, this parenthesis is meaningless. We can drop the parentheses. If there's nothing in front of, of a parentheses, this parenthesis is meaningless. We can drop the parenthesis. 1 minus 2x plus x squared. Next, we multiply. When we multiply, we distribute negative 6 into the parenthesis. When we multiply, we distribute negative 6 into the parenthesis. Here, we treat minus 6 as negative 6. So we distribute negative 6 into the parenthesis. Negative 6 times positive 1 is negative 6. Negative 6 times negative x, double negative is positive. 6 times x, they cannot be multiplied, so I leave it away. It is as 6x. Negative 6 times negative x is positive 6x. Keep the last term the same. Next, we combine like terms. x squared doesn't have any like term, so I leave it away. It is positive x squared, it doesn't have any like term. So I leave it the way it is. 
negative 2x and positive 6x. Negative 2x and positive 6x, they are like terms. Negative 2x and positive 6x, they are like terms. When we combine like term and the coefficient, follow addition rule, and the coefficient, negative 2 plus positive 6. Negative 2 plus positive 6. When we add in two numbers with different sign, keep the sign from the number that has larger magnitude, then subtract the magnitude. 6 minus 2 is 4. So if I combine light turn, negative 2 plus positive 6 is positive 4. Leave light turn the same. Next, next. The numbers by itself, they are also called light terms. The number by itself, they are also called light terms. We have Passive 1, follow additional rule. Passive 1 plus, pass, plus negative 6. When we combine light term, follow additional rule. Passive 1 plus negative 6 plus negative 4. When we combine light term, follow additional rule. Passive 1 plus negative 6 plus negative 4. Passive 1 plus negative 6. When we add in two numbers with different sign, keep the sign from the number that has larger magnitude. Negative 6 has larger magnitude, so I keep negative sign. Then subtract the magnitude. 6 minus 1 is 5. Keep the last term the same. Then we do negative 5 plus negative 4. Follow additional rule. They have same sign. Keep the sign and the magnitude. 5 plus 4 is 9. So combine like terms, positive 1 plus negative 6 plus negative 4 is negative 9. Then double check, there are no more like terms. So that's your final answer. So the final answer, f of 1 minus x is x squared plus 4x minus 9. Next, we will study Linear equations. The basic strategy to solve an equation is to Isolate the variable which means we try to get x by itself. Isolate the variable means try to get x by itself, get an unknown number by itself. Let's look at some simple examples. Solve each of the following equations. Solve each of the following equations. First one. X minus 15 equal to 4. To solve an equation means we try to get x by itself. When we solve for equation, we are allowed to add numbers to both sides, subtract numbers from both sides, multiply numbers to both sides, or divide both sides by the same number. To solve equation, we are allowed to add numbers to both sides, subtract numbers from both sides. Multiply the same numbers to both sides or divide both sides by the same number. So in this problem, to get x by itself, I can try to add 15 to both sides. If I add 15 to both sides, on the left side, positive 15, negative 15 and positive 15 get cancelled. On the left side, 
negative 15 and positive 15 get cancelled, we get x by itself. On the right side, 4 plus 15 is 19, we get x by itself, so x equal to 19. That's the solution of the equation. x equal to, x equal to 19 is the solution to the equation. Another example, x plus 9 equal to 22. x plus 9 equal to 22. Our goal is to get x by itself. That means we try to eliminate 9 first. To eliminate 9, I can subtract 9 from both sides. So on the left side, Passive 9 and negative 9 get cancelled. On the left side, passive 9 cancels negative 9. We get s by itself. On the right side, try to combine like terms. Passive 22 plus negative 9. Passive 22 plus negative 9. Try to combine like terms. When we are adding two numbers, with different sign, keeping a sign from a number that has larger magnitude. Positive 22 has larger magnitude. Then subtract the magnitude. 22 minus 9 is 13. So the answer is positive 13. S equal to positive 13. That's the solution to this equation. S equal to positive 13. That's the solution to this equation. Next, x minus a equal to negative 10. x minus a equal to negative 10. We try to get x by itself. That means we try to eliminate negative a first. We try to get x by itself. That means we try to eliminate negative a first. In order to eliminate negative a, I add a to both sides of the equation. Add a to both sides. So on the left side, positive a and negative a get cancelled. We get s by itself. On the right side, try to follow additional rule. Combine these two terms. Combine these two numbers. Follow additional rule. Negative 10 plus positive a. Combine like terms. Follow additional rule. Negative 10 plus positive a. When we are adding two numbers with different sign, keep the sign from the number that has larger magnitude. In our example here, 10 has larger negative 10 has larger magnitude. So I keep negative negative sign. Then subtract the magnitude. 10 minus a is 2. And so it's negative 2. And negative 2 is the solution to the equation. Negative 2 is the solution to the equation. Next. Negative 3 plus x equal to negative 18. Negative 3 plus x equal to negative 18. We try to get s by itself. That means we need to eliminate negative 3 first. We try to get s by itself. That means we need to it means we need to eliminate negative three first. If I eliminate if I eliminate negative three, I get s by itself. So in order to eliminate negative three, I s three to both sides. When I s three to both sides, on the left side, negative three get cancelled. We get s by itself. On the right side, negative eighteen plus 3, negative 18 plus positive 3, when we combine like terms, combine like term, combine these two terms as like terms, when we combine like term, follow addition rule, negative 18 plus positive 3, when we add in two numbers with, with different sign, keep, keep the sign from the number that has larger magnitude, here negative 18 has larger magnitude, so I keep negative sign. Subtract the magnitude, 18 
minus 3 is 15. So x equal to negative 15. x equal to negative 15. That's the solution to the equation. That's the solution to the equation. Next. Negative 6x equal to negative 42. Negative 6x equal to negative 42. Negative 6x means negative 6 times x. We try to get x by itself. In order to get x by itself, here we divide both sides by negative 6. I divide, we divide both sides by negative 6. If we divide negative 6 on the left side, negative 6 cancels negative 6. We get x by itself. Negative 6 times x divide by negative 6, make it cancel. We get x by itself. On the right side, negative 42 divide by negative 6. Negative 42 divide by negative 6. Negative 42 divide by negative 6. Double negative is positive. 42 divided by 6 is 7. Double negative is positive. 42 divided by 6 is positive. So the answer is positive 7. If an answer is positive, we don't write positive sign. The answer is positive 7. So that's the solution to the equation. Next. Negative 6 plus x equal to negative 42. Negative 6 plus x equal to negative 42. So we try to isolate negative 6, get x by itself. Here I can try to add 6 to both sides. When I add 6 to both sides, negative 6 cancels positive 6, we get x by itself. Negative 42 plus positive 6. Negative 42 plus positive 6. When we are adding two numbers with different signs, keep the sign from the number that has larger magnitude. Then subtract the magnitude. 42 minus 6 is 36. And so it's negative 36. That's the solution to the equation. Now observe. 5 and 6, they are very, very similar. Number 5 is negative 6 times x equal to negative 42. Number 6 is negative 6 plus x equal to negative 42. They are very, very similar, but be very, very careful. In number 6, negative 6 is a term by itself. To cancel a term by itself, we use the opposite number. Negative 6, the opposite number is positive 6. To cancel a term, we use an opposite number. In number 5, we have negative 6 times x. Negative 6 times x means negative 6 is a number multiplied to x, it's not a term. Negative 6x is a term, but negative 6 by itself is not a term. That's called coefficient. To cancel the coefficient, you divide by the number itself. To cancel the coefficient, divide by the number itself. Look at another example. Number seven. Four x equal to negative forty eight. Number a. Four plus x equal to negative forty eight. Observe here. Four x equal to forty eight. This four is a coefficient, so I divide both sides by 4 to get x by itself. Number A, this 4 is a turn. This 4 is a turn. This 4 is a turn. To cancel a turn, we use its opposite number. Pass 4, the opposite number is negative 4. So I subtract 4 from both sides. So simplify both sides.
simplify both pro solve both problems. For number seven, cancel number four from left side, you can add by itself. On the right side, negative 48 divided by four is negative 12. That's the solution, you can add by itself. On the right side, on the right side, positive four and negative four, make a cancel, you can add by itself. Negative 48 plus negative 4, which try to combine these two terms together. When we combine, follow additional rule. Negative 48 plus negative 4. When we are adding two numbers with the same sign, keep the sign and the magnitude. 48 plus 4 is 52. So the answer is negative 52. Number 9 x over 12 equal to 3 in this situation how do we get s by itself x divide by 12 equal to 3 in order to get s by itself i can try to multiply both sides by 12 i multiply left side by 12 multiply right side by 12 when i multiply this 12 times x over 12, this 12 will be cancelled because 12 times x over 12 can be rewrite as 12 over 1 times x over 12. If we multiply the top to the top, bottom to the bottom, I have 12x over 12. Then 12 get cancelled, we get s by itself. So multiply both sides by 12, this 12 Eventually cancel this 12 on the bottom, so we get s by itself. And on the right side, 3 times 12 is 36. That's the solution to the equation. Next, x over negative 3 equal to 6 x over negative 3 equal to 6 same thing we multiply both sides by the denominator negative 3 multiply both sides by negative 3 we multiply both sides by negative 3 on the left side negative 3 will eventually be cancelled let me show you the work here. Negative 3 times x over negative 3. This negative 3 can be rewrite as negative 3 over 1. Every number can be rewrite as, as number itself over 1. Times x over negative 3. Then we multiply straight across, top to the top, button to the button. I have negative 3x over negative 3. Then we can cancel negative 3 from top and the bottom. We get s by itself. That's why this negative 3 eventually get cancelled. Eventually they get cancelled. We have x by itself. On the right side, positive 6 times negative 3 is negative 18. Next, 5x minus 10 equal to 35. 5x minus 10 equal to 35. Sometimes when we solve for equation, it take multiple steps. Sometimes when we solve for equation, it take multiple steps. For example, in example 11, 5x minus 10 equal to 35 our goal is to get s by itself so i try to eliminate 10 first then em eliminate 5 i get s by itself i try to eliminate negative 10 first then i try to eliminate 5 and get s by itself 
I can add 10 to both sides first. If I add 10 to both sides, on the left side, positive 10 cancels negative 10, I get 5x by itself. On the right side, 35 plus 10 is 45. To get x by itself, I divide both sides by 5. This 5 is a coefficient, so I divide both sides by 5. Pass 5 cancels. 5 on the top of the button get cancelled. 5 on the top of the button get cancelled. We get x by itself. On the right side, 45 divided by 5 is 9. So we get s by itself. That's the solution to the equation. Next. 6x plus 7 equal to 37. 6x plus 7 equal to 37. Our goal is to get s by itself. To get s by itself, we try to eliminate 7 first. Then eliminate 6. We try to eliminate 7 first, then eliminate 6. To eliminate 7, I subtract 7 from both sides. Subtract 7 from both sides. If I subtract 7 from both sides, on the left side, positive 7 and negative 7 get cancelled. We have 6x by itself. On the right side, 37 minus 7 is 30. 37 minus 7 is 30. To get x by itself, we divide both sides by 6. This 6 is a coefficient. We divide both sides by 6. Then 6 on the top and the bottom get cancelled. We get x by itself. 30 divided by 6 is 5. So the solution is s equal to 5. Number 13. 3x plus 14 equal to 56. We try to get x by itself. So we try to eliminate 14 first, then eliminate 3. To eliminate 14, I subtract 14 from both sides. Cancel positive 14 and negative 14. We get 3x by itself. On the right side, 56 minus 14 is 42. 56 minus 14 is 42. To get x by itself, we divide both sides by 3. On the left side, positive 3 cancels negative 3. We get x by itself. On the right side, 42 divided by 3 is 14. Next. Negative 9 plus 7x is 54. Negative 9 plus 7x is 54. To get s by itself, we need to eliminate negative 9 first. Then eliminate 7, get s by itself. So I can add 9 to both sides. Add 9 to both sides. On the left side, positive 9 cancels negative 9. We get 7x by itself. On the right side, 54 plus 9 is 63. Then to get s by itself, we divide both sides by 7. On the left side, positive 7 get cancelled. 7 on the top of the button get cancelled. 7 on the top and the bottom get cancelled. We get s by itself. On the right side, 63 divided by 7 is 9. Number 15. Negative 1 minus 2x equal to negative 17. We try to get x by itself. To solve the equation, we try to get x by itself. So I try to eliminate negative 1 first, then eliminate negative 2 and get s by itself. I can first put 
I can first of all add one to both sides. On the left side, negative one and positive one get cancelled. We get negative two x by itself. On the right side, negative seventeen plus one. We try to combine like terms. When combining like term, follow addition rule. Negative seventeen plus positive one. Negative seventeen plus positive one. When adding two number with different sign, keep the sign from the number that has larger magnitude. Negative seventeen has larger magnitude, so keep negative sign. Then subtract the magnitude. Seventeen minus one is sixteen. Then to get s by itself, to get s by itself, I need to eliminate negative two, so I. Divide both sides by negative two. This negative two is coefficient, so I divide both sides by negative two. On the left side, negative two on the top, negative two on the top and the bottom get cancelled. On the left side, negative two on the top and the bottom get cancelled. We get s by itself. On the right side, negative sixteen divided by negative two. Double negative is positive. Sixteen divided by two is a. Double negative is positive. Sixteen divided by two is eight. But for the final answer, if the number is positive, if the answer is positive, we don't write positive sign. So write x equal to a. Answer is positive a, but we don't write positive sign. Answer is x equal to a. Number sixteen. Three minus four x equal to negative seventeen. Three minus four x equal to negative seventeen. We try to get x by itself. In order to get x by itself, we need to eliminate three first, then eliminate negative four. To eliminate three, I subtract three from both sides. Then positive three on the left side. Positive three, negative three get cancel. We have negative four x by itself. On the right side, negative three, negative seventeen minus three. Try to combine like terms. Negative seventeen plus negative three. When adding two numbers with the same sign, keep the sign and the magnitude. Seventeen plus three is. Twenty. So left side we have negative twenty. In order to get, in order to get s by itself, we divide both side by negative four. Negative four is a coefficient, so I divide both side by negative four. When I divide, on the left side, negative four on the top and the bottom get cancelled. We get s by itself. On the right side, negative twenty divided by negative four. Double negative is positive. Twenty divided by four is five. For the final answer, if the answer is positive, we don't write positive sign. So x is positive five. It's number five.